This is Outnumbered. I'm Harris Faulkner. Here today, Sandra Smith, Andrea Tenteros, Jetta Diabila is back. And today's hashtag... Right. Well, this is, uh, I think, a very important, symbolic, uh, a community of people that wanted to exercise their free speech right. Defending speech you agree with is easy. It's defending... Use. Terrorists. Yeah. We haven't heard that yet. And, and I, you know, it takes some time investigation. We'll get back to it as the news breaks here. Messages on an account that they figure is linked to the... A magnet for terrorists from Europe and from the United States. People are coming to get training. Many of them have valid American... Have Twitter accounts in this country. I do... We had warnings. I mean, just like the Boston bombers, they took to social media. Leadership on the issue. I mean, right up to the president, it's not a priority mm -hmm. for them. And the, they're out ahead of us in many respects. As Sandra pointed out, Twitter has taken or suspended both those accounts and I went to you officially made that connection yet but you you mentioned in the beginning which is provocative which is immediately you see people out as life is provocative art is provocative mm -hmm. anything can provoke someone but that doesn't give you a right to shoot people or to harm people yeah. and we stated uh, maybe they had already seen those tweets we haven't seen that confirmed mm -hmm. yet but they had already anticipated from the backlash in some parts of, of the metro that people were not last night I want to get on the record with saying the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, how do you think the White House should respond today? Because remember, he has wagged his fingers at public. Fear, that fear alone is not a justification. Brandeis said men feared witches. It up. Uh, Elton Simpson is the f searching this apartment in Phoenix to see a good point. I mean, we have these people among us. We can say fair. Making comments. No, I don't believe it's a fair to of a U.S. corporation or a U.S. company to, to make it clear who's committing, you know, who's doing this. They want them later. I don't want people killed to begin with. Well, you know what I find interesting, though? I tried to post a video from a blue or would think that they would be able to move with that channel. She said as they were taking the attendees of the officer who is OK today, yeah. um, they can't stop that. Hmm. But Carly Fiorina, yeah, for a long time in the business community, yeah. what do you think of polls mm -hmm. is somebody who really is going to promise them the fact that they don't have those political chops. I mean, I do think it benefits them that they're ready to trap politicians. For me, it's really a walk like politicians. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you look at the way politicians poll average voter. And Harris, I like to see some diverse all and we haven't seen Governor Huckabee, but he is scheduled to make a public appearance. But he did. And so does that speak to how eager he is to Carson? Mm -hmm. Why why does he consistently poll top five? What is it about him that people like, do you think? People love and where he is now to be such a successful. No, I think that's right. I, I think this is a, a real opportunity. Was I'll go away yeah. from the foundation if that's what it takes. And I wonder, too, if they're wheeling out Bill to defend happen since announcing mm -hmm. her candidacy. This is typical. And this can't, so she's got to answer. And what will that look like? This is typical, Ambassador? Yeah, look, didn't appear at all. So this unwillingness to face questions and not listening to her so she wouldn't have to talk. <laughs> so she could just sit there, a Republican man, to say something stupid yes. so that she can play the victim card on this one, you know, so they so that they overreach. Yeah, and I think it's going to come down to a softball interview, and she's going to hope that she does a better job. She doesn't get maybe, you know, to sort of push it off and and hope that the Republicans are going to see her admit her faults and admit her mistakes. And that book, yeah. she couldn't answer the questions, so let's keep her out of the limelight. But I do think you hit on from out on the quote board. You here, here. <laughs> All righty, is Baltimore? Um, but you've got 50 years of it yeah. in Baltimore. But, but let, let's go to the police department in particular. When I was a little boy, my father would get her this <laughs> <one>. Jared. <laughs> you know what? I remember the first time call from Hillary Clinton. Do you really want that call, or would you just? Oh, Ooh. that would be wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Must be doing it, Sandra, because it makes money. I'd do it and be on the other end with a microphone and a TV camera. <laughs> there you go. Um, hey, I can't blame her. I don't know. I think it's all right. I'm sure she's going to get a lot of attention with this. Some people are really going to want this. I wish she would call a reporter. <laughs> what happened in Benghazi? There you go. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to you. Now, you went to law school with Hillary, so you've talked to her before. So getting a phone call from her, what you probably, what, just hang up or say, hey, how's it going? Long time no talk? Well, we weren't exactly drinking. She would call me even if I won the... Uh... Good time. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> my... Right here for Outnumbered Overtime on the web, foxnews.com slash outnumbered. Click the Overtime tab. We will see you back here tomorrow for Outnumbered at noon Eastern. Happening now, everybody, starts right now.